How's it going everybody? Welcome, welcome, welcome back to the channel. This is your boy Mars. Today, got another drag tune video to show you guys. It's going to be the Stingray. Really nice old school, old school, old school Corvette. That um, It was really quick back in the good old days. Like It wasn't as um, top end fast, but it was quick as in like the at 0 to 60. And, and it, it actually did pretty, pretty good. So I got a full tune for you guys right here. Uh, 1,000 horsepower with it. Rear wheel drive, of course, and uh, of course, like everybody, like always, everybody new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. And uh, yeah, let's get right to it. So, as you guys see, got the 67 Corvette Sting Ray 427. Let's go right over here to the upgrades and uh, let's go right in here to the custom upgrades. So, now as you can see, you get a couple engines you can swap in here. Uh, you got like the 1500 horsepower engine, some V12s, V10s, but we're going to do the V8. We're going to do the really nice V8, weighing 2500 pounds on it. Uh, really, really nice all the way around um, with the cup source of weight and power. And then we're going to leave it, of course, rear wheel drive and use the twin turbos. Twin turbos will give us that top end speed that we need. Uh, and then we're just going to pretty much put all the parts besides oil and cooling fully fully on race mode <laughs> race mode uh, just race everything on here besides the oil and cooling very easy as you guys see there we go flywheel of course no oil and cooling no need for it that uh, little difference in weight or actually uh, horsepower doesn't do anything now let's go right over here and let's put these parts on here of course with the rally that's his rally suspension is really really good uh, it's super soft and uh, distributes that power really good as you guys can see no row cage in it and then the rest of the parts are just going to be rally or rally it's going to be race everything else on here race oh and then let's go right over here we're going to use the uh, race transmission on there and then everything else just simply race as you guys see it's going to go to the tires on the tires of course you're going to slap in those drag tires no width in the front and then full width in the rear there at 345 super massive back wheels um, you can probably pull off smaller wheels or smaller width uh, lightest weight wheels you guys want uh, in no size all the way around leave them at 15s uh, what I did is do the hood on there to reduce more weight with the hood and then that was it that was it I did take off this to also reduce some weight as you guys see you can take it off there to reduce some more weight so did both of those on that and then let's go right to the tune guys so we got 55 in the front 15 in the rear car does 2.30 to 60 4.90 to 100 that's where it lacks right there it's at 0 to 100 like it has a really really nice 60 foot and then the rest is just kind of like slows down on the car pretty weird but that's how Forza does it you know that's their logic onto it uh, but theoretically having a thousand horsepower in this car weighing 2500 pounds with 345 tires this should be super super nice but you know forza always does something different to all the cars uh we got 310 on that uh, final drive 470 250 170 117 0.85 and 0.65 zero everything out in seven 65 65 uh then we got 190 there and then we got 350 lowered all the way in the front race all the way in the rear the reason why it's all this is because this car really is like crazy so i went a little stiff in the front so when that car initially launches that front spring or it, it's pretty it's more stiff on it um and then i also lowered the front end so it takes longer for it to wheelie um, and then i got six ten ten one so remember if you put this all the way to one it will wheelie like crazy so this all this is just for to prevent it from wheeling a lot so that's why i got it like the way it is nothing with this nothing with this and a hundred and a hundred so that is it that is it let's take it out for a little cruise here and let's go outside and then show you guys what this thing can do let's do it weather is looking good we are at the uh, nice little house over here Buenas Vistas. Let's uh, take it out for a little cruise. Take a look at the inside. Look at that hood. Got those uh, green gauges on there.
Really nice car, it's been in a lot of Horizon games, uh, it's also been in a lot of motorsports games. Um, always been picked to uh, be released. I just wish it had top end, like a higher top end speed. All these Lamborghinis. Oh. Got the, uh, she's that sun is bright. All right, so the car is a 4K car. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do the 4K launch with it. Uh, by now, I think everybody is already accustomed to 4K launch. Um, it took it was pretty difficult in the beginning when the game was first released to do a 4k but now everybody's kind of gotten the hang of it um, and if you still can't do it you can always do a 2k launch it's by just pressing the e-brake and gas and then wait for that needle to hold that 2000 so here's a quarter mile guys this little pole over here is the quarter mile to the left um, and let's line it up let's line it up so let's line it up to the pole just like that make sure to get the tires hot every time you bring out a car to the street always get those tires hot you can do reverse and forward burnout or you can do standstill reverse burnouts so those two are really really good and now to do it is e-brake gas and clutch the clutch is what holds it at 4k so e-brake gas and clutch um, and then you can, you can tap on the clutch really quickly and then hold the clutch and you can get a little bit higher as you guys saw so we are at 3600 rpms 22 pounds of boost torque is 628 you know, all you gotta do is let go of the clutch and the e brake, and there you go. Real nice, settle, wheelie on it. It drops back down, it doesn't uh, go crazy on you with the wheelie. And as you guys see, we did 159 there in the quarter mile. Um, so, all the way around, I mean, the car is really nice 60 foot vehicle. Um, this will probably be a really good car for like the whoever does eighths, if you guys do eighths or anything like that. Which I actually been trying to uh, see do an eighth, do an eighth tournament of uh, who has the fastest eighth car. That'd be pretty cool. There you go. So yeah, consistently we'll do 159s. Make sure to get those tires hot. And uh, let me show you guys the launch again one more time. So, so you have the standard 2K launch, which is just e-brake and gas, and then it holds right there around 2200 rpms and all you got to do is just let go of the e-brake so you can launch it that way but that 4k launch is e-brake gas and clutch the clutches you have to go in that same order because the clutch is what holds the rpm at a higher rpm so if you go e-brake gas and clutch as you guys see that's the way it holds it so that's uh that's how to do the uh the 4k launch as we call it it's just a pretty much a higher launch it's never exactly at 4k but e-brake gas clutch if this happens here when you do e-brake gas and clutch all you gotta do is reverse forward line up again and then e-brake gas and clutch you want you want that needle to to uh, shoot up like that see how it shoots up you don't want it to do that you want it to shoot up like that so that's how you do it guys and um, yeah hope you guys like the video man it was pretty good real nice looking vehicle hope you guys have this car um, and see you guys around with another drag to the video. Peace out, everybody. Bye-bye now.